Mom, do you think I'm hot? I don't think that's something that matters. So I'm not hot? I'm saying the part of you that cares about that is a part you shouldn't give any energy to. That's not an answer! Because I'm not an issue of Cosmo, okay? I'm your mother and a doctor and- I'm a hideous! <laughs> Jeez, what's with her? Teenage girl stuff. Is that a hoof collage? It's perfectly legal if that's what you're wondering. Cool. Okay. See those two fleshy sacks under his chin, Morty? Grab them. Do you remember the codes now? Twist. No, no. Give us the codes, man. No. Twist harder, Morty. No. Harder. No. Okay, let go, let go. Let him breathe. No. He wants to make a deal. Half the codes now, half after you finish. But can't we trust? Wait, what? F finish what? Uh, you, you know. I thought I was torturing him! Oh, and this disappoints you? Nice doggy. You want a snack? You you want my unemployment check? You can tell the difference. But this is actual food. And this would nourish you. And this, it's just paper that only has value to me. Unless my suffering is your nourishment. Jesus, okay. Blech. How is this even family therapy if dad's not invited and grandpa won't come? Yeah, and what's courageous about eating a hot dog? The family was told to get counseling by your principal, even though it's not the family that was huffing pottery glaze in the art room and desk wetting in history class. Oh, the Smith family, minus the dad. How long have you all been eating poop? We have never eaten poop. I mean, me neither. Say, where did my family get off to? This is a great adventure. This is a great adventure. I love being your new Morty. I love being your new Farty. <laughs> Very amusing, Mr. Smith. Almost as amusing as when your first Rick was decapitated on Zorpathian 9. How many Ricks have you had? Five. I see. So you are top of the class in something. Yes, slow Rick. Tall Morty. D did I graduate this time yet? Anything's possible, tall Morty. Ugh. Jacqueline, I, 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 I wasn't who I said I was. You weren't a 14-year-old boy from the Midwest who ran away from his family and capitalized on his lack of conscience by becoming a stockbroker? Oh, I guess I was pretty upfront about that, wasn't I? You were upfront about everything. You were my soulmate. Well, not not anymore. I'll, um, y you can keep the apartment and, and, and uh, the drones. She can't keep the drones. They turn into a little Voltron robot. They're awesome. You can't keep the drones. I can't believe we're getting gear crane with a vindicator. So, you girls in gear college or gear... Alien terror attack! Okay, sounds like a job for me. I better go get into my alter ego. <gasps> so cool! I know. Wait, what alter ego? He was already wearing the jacket. <laughs> Is it ready? Yes. We can bring it online now. Do it. I am Phoenix Person. Phoenix Person. Is that what we settled on? I thought we all agreed on Cyberbird. You said you didn't care what he was called, as long as we brought him back. Yeah, but Phoenix Person? Fine. Fuck it. Who cares? <laughs> Look at some of the shit you were asking me to make you as a kid. Ray guns, a whip that forces people to like you, invisibility cuffs, a parent trap, a teddy bear with anatomically correct innards, night vision googly eye glasses, false fingerprints, fall asleep darts, a lie detecting doll, location tracking stickers, rainbow colored duct tape, mind controlled hair clips, poison gum, a pink sentient switchblade. Hi Beth, you've gotten taller. Shall we resume stabbing? Ooh wee! What a season! Sorry I never showed up, but I got married, I had a baby, I went back to school, I got my GED. Ooh wee! See ya for season four in like a really long time. I I might even have a big white Santa Claus beard and a can and a and a, and a, and a couple of grandkids and all that kind of stuff. See you, see you then.